Welcome back. Um, if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe and all that jazz. Um, who knows? It may may help, may not. No. So, little update of where we were at the end of yesterday. The second cylinder had the valve machined. It is waiting to go back on the engine. Uh, I thought I'd look for, see if I had a bit of material last night. I found some, some of this drawn bronze. It's not great for what we're looking for. Um, did find some fossil bronze as well. Again, not ideal. What I really wanted was some stainless. Uh, the original bobbins were stainless. Uh, these ones are, um, so I wanted to make the new one stainless. Uh, the only bit of stainless I had was three quarter, which was a rattling fit in the hole. So I was stuck for a bit of material, haven't had a chance to order any, popped into work today, or popped in, I was there all day, but chatted to some guys at work and asked if there was a bit around 20 mil inch kicking around that, that might be an off cut that would be useful for me. Um, at the end of the day, I was handed a bit. It's a inch and three quarter prop shaft. You can see where it was worn on the on the cutlass bearing. So inch and three quarter. That's about the size I need to get out of it. So I need to get a three quarter bobbin out of an inch and three quarter uh, bit of bar. I will hunt around to see if I've got another bit. I, I had a hunt last night, couldn't find any inch stainless. I'm going to hunt again because that is a big lump to ch churn out. If I can't find any, it will be that. So I'm off to look for some more. In the meanwhile, I'm going to set this chunk up in the bandsaw so it can be cutting away. And then as and when I come back out to do some machining it's at least already to length see you in a bit <clears throat> so just before i started cutting the metal uh, i've had a phone call from a friend who's popped around for the evening uh it's just recently turned up uh but <clears throat> i mentioned to him about the stainless and a needing um only just over three quarter and all i had was inch and three quarters he had a look, he didn't let me know, so I started cutting, but I got that far, so sort of two thirds of the way-ish through the cut, and then he turned up with a much shorter, smaller length of, of bar, which I have already now cut, I abandoned that cut. It probably cut both of these in the same time as it would have taken to finish that cut. Um, I haven't actually measured yet. I think it's just like about an inch. Um, I've already cut two pieces of that. So now I can go and machine them. But before I can machine them, I also need to reinstate the cross slide because at the moment I've still got all the clamps on there from machining the blocks. So next time you see me, we'll be working on that. So back in the workshop, got a cut going on. Uh, so if I stop for a moment, then it's because I'm dealing with that. Um, I've put the ink stainless into the lathe. It needs to go down to just over three quarter. So what I'm doing is I want to be able to take uh, right. I want to be able to take down to just over what I need. Once it's over what I need, uh, I'm gonna shape it, roughing it all out. Um, I might final cut the, the the middle of the bobbin. Just remind you what it looks like. So I'm final cut the, the size in the middle. But I'll, I'll leave a little bit extra on every face. When it's cooled, I'll then get the other one to the same sizes. <clears throat> let it cool down uh, and then when it's cold 
I can final cut the, the lengths of each bobbin. Um, and once that's done, I'll part it off. I'll have drilled it first. I'll part it off. And once it's parted, I can let it cool down again, make sure it's stone cold or room temperature. And final, like between centers, I will final bore it, uh, turn it to size to meet the bore. It's important to do it when it's cold. Otherwise, if you take a final cut when it's still hot, it will then shrink and you'll end up with a foul two clearance, which isn't what we want in this situation. So, to begin with, I'm gonna rough it all out to size. So the story now, I have machined the center to the right diameter. That face is finished, although I might just take a, another slight polishing cut, get rid of the burr. Uh, the next stage, I've left this to cool down, so it's nice and I have already drilled probably half to three quarters of the way through. So next thing, I'm going to part it to length, uh, or at least mark the length it needs to be with the parting tool, chop it, spin it round, face the face, and then drill the, from that end. Then I can turn it between centers and just clean up and take a final cut across the outside and get the internals of the heads to the right length. So close the play for the day. I've got the two valves almost to size in both directions. I think they're the right length. They just need the heads put to size and to diameter. And then they can go back on the engine, which I've put the lubricator back in, the bogey uh, stretchers back in, so that's ready to go. The last thing to go back on is the bogey. Um, I'll get the valves in, I'll run it on air, and then I can check the timing by the ports for the drain cocks. And then we're all done, all the other sides back together as well. So yeah, we're close. So tomorrow I can finish those valves and then I can hopefully put them in, reset the timing and we'll be good to test run on Sunday. So let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and tell your friends as well. I will catch up with you tomorrow.